Young Jedi Adventures, Season 1, Episode 19, Thoughts. This episode is called Life Day slash Raxlow Strikes Back, a reference to The Empire Strikes Back. Another quite good episode. Spoilers for every episode of the show so far, and I might also spoil other Star Wars stuff. Uh, right, the, the show is... Um, yeah, T TVY, and so will this episode, this video be. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, they're, they're talking about celebrating Life Day, you know, which, you know, I've, one of them says, you know, it's my favorite holiday. It's the one day of year where we sit down, all of us together, and watch without question one of the worst sins against the art of filmmaking ever made. I hear. I'm told. I haven't actually watched it. But I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about it, <laughs> based on everything I've heard. I know it fits the art style. It's slightly off-putting seeing Wookiee smile like that. I, yeah, that's... Yeah. And let's see... Right, the, the, um, you know, the, the, um, the, the orb is dropped and it finds a new calling in participating in a game of pinball. And yeah, we have more stuff of, you know, the kids being clumsy. I, I will say that time where, like, it looked like the orb was still moving and then it turns out to be a little creature, I was like, there's no way that thing is still moving. Like, holy crap. But yeah, turn out to just be a creature, and yeah, by the very end, they managed to, to find it, but it ends up broken, and yeah, we have this thing of, you know, it's, it's what it represents, so, you know, very, very Grinch stole Christmas kind of thing of, you know, you can take away the, the presence, but the, the joy is still there, which is a very important message. Let's see. And yeah, if they're gonna do that basic message, I would probably say they should be making stuff like this instead of just doing another new version of, you know, I haven't watched the the Grinch Jim Carrey movie, but I don't. I know some people love that movie, and that's great. I'm I'm really glad you have something that brings you joy. I don't think we necessarily need more movies like that. Which I'm not even sure. The I just, I think that was a phase. The this live you know, live action adaptations of because they also did the cat in the hat. I wanna say the I don't even remember what it's called, but the the one with the environmentalist one I think was animated. And, you know, very nice that they're at the end where they, you know, learn how to say Happy Life Day in Shiruk, Shiruak, something like that. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, a, another great thing to teach kids. You know, if you're talking to someone who speaks, you know, who's, who either speaks a different language or, you know, they're, they're, family at least is you know speaks a, a different language for a lot of people even you know you don't have to get the pronunciation exactly right as long as you try a lot of people like it it you know their faces light up they're they're so happy that you care enough to make the effort and yeah yeah so this first half of the episode i thought was fine I like the second part much better. That's been a theme with several of these recent ones. I don't know if they just kind of aren't really trying, or maybe they just need to get, you know, yeah, get going, and then after a while it really works out. But yeah, um, they, let's see, yeah, they're, they're protecting Willigrin eggs, and... The snow is melting. What a world. And, yeah. Um, 
It is indeed the return of Rexlow. He continues to be a Saturday morning cartoon villain. And, yeah, I really appreciate that, you know, it, that is, it, it is basically a Saturday morning cartoon show, though it, you know, streamed, not, not aired at a specific time slot or something, but, yeah, um, through him, they're, they're exploring, you know, they're teaching the kids important lessons, so I quite appreciate that. Yeah, um, the buttons thing was, was kind of fun, the, you know, it's, it's, silly but it just works you know you press a button to accomplish something important and music starts playing you know I, I can't explain it it's it's an old joke I've seen it in in like yeah but it just works you know it's just funny the the it's the context thing of you know you think one thing is gonna happen and another thing happens but but yeah and you know yeah Raxlow says you can't push any of these buttons but you also can't convince me to change my ways. And they're like, so we push buttons, you know. <laughs> so I push every button. And let's see. Those sly dogs, they caught him monologuing. Got him monologuing. Wow. Moving on. And, and yeah, um, you know, he's told the, you know, you should have asked first. There, you know, there are other places to harvest, and by the end, you know, he's moving the snow rather than melting it. And the whole thing with, you know, it is not subtle. It is baby's first climate change, you know, awareness, and I love that. Um, it's extremely important for for kids to to learn. And yeah, you know, Ragslow is like, but I'm just trying to make money. I have to do something, and they point out. You can. You just can't do this. And, yeah, you know, the, the moment... A lot of climate denialists... One of the first things they'll say is... We have to do something. You know, we... we you know, the... the yeah, how... How energy is produced. You know, our you know, modern society requires energy, literally runs on it. There has to be some way for us to get it, and the answer has been, you know, yeah. Those of us who are fighting climate change, yeah, there we've, you know, I haven't personally developed any of this, but I help spread awareness. There are a lot of things that are being done to, yeah, to to gather renewable energy and gradually phase out our reliance on you know fossil fuels and and the various things that yeah that that cause climate change so yeah this you know the the episode makes it very very simple to make sure that kids can understand it because it is a kind of complex you know they they could probably understand if you talk about like the the Ah, what's it called? The um the the ah that's I don't I want to say it's called the energy cycle. Um, yeah, exactly. The the energy cycle, you know, at least some aspects of it could could it maybe understand. But then to to go and and say you know and this is why we need to change all of these you know things that we've been doing to these other things. But they they can understand you know because literally you know in this episode it's babies you know it's the little Wellegrin egg babies. <laughs> the babies might not. You know, the babies might suffer if we keep doing this thing that melts snow, you know. That's, yeah, kids are going to understand that. It hurts living things. And that is true. That is one of the problems with climate change. You know, one of the reasons we need to fight it. So, yeah, very, very nicely done. And I think that is all that I have to say. I think I did talk about it the first time, but it is kind of wild to me that, yeah, Ragslow, the voice is, 
by yeah, it's it's Haley Joel Osment, you know, the sixth sense AI pay it forward, you know. Yeah. He's he's and he does quite a good job. Glad to see he's he's still you know working like a lot of kid stars <clears throat> don't continue working into adulthood. Right. Um so one quick thing, yeah, this you know, as mentioned earlier in this video, this is not the first time we hear about Life Day. There was the the holiday special, Star Wars holiday special from like nineteen seventy eight. So yeah. Um this is not the first other place that that's been mentioned. And the um, let's see. Yeah. You know, bringing in Wookiees. Though a lot of people hate Life Day, you know, it's hard to to Yeah, we all love Wookiees. Yeah, I'm I'm sure there's some people out there who don't, but that was one way to to help try to yeah attract more attention and yeah um that's it for this one the next i'm probably doing the next in six or eight days so yeah catch you then